The French are the bloc to Britain having a deal in the European Union. The French are the extremists who do not want Britain to benefit from Brexit. The European Union is their way of controlling Europe in the French interest. This has been demonstrated by the recent scallop war between French and British fishing boats in the Channel, where we saw French fishermen throwing smoke bombs and rocks at our fishing fleet. They will find with Brexit that they will have to negotiate to use British fishing grounds and not dictate as Monsieur Barnier has been over the Brexit negotiations. French farmers, winemakers and fishermen seem to frequently take the law into their own hands with impunity, which is tolerated by the French authorities who do nothing to properly police their own citizens. France's inability to compete in the markets with other nations, which is not the fault of British fishermen, is also the reason why Monsieur Barnier and his president, Monsieur Macron, are doing everything they can to damage Britain and to prevent us having a good Brexit deal. We would be better off leaving the European Union without a deal, which will allow us to make trade deals with rapidly expanding countries throughout the world. Countries whose people do not violently attack our workers when going about their ordinary course of business. The UK government has been characteristically weak in its response, saying that the safety of the UK fleet is our highest priority and we will continue to monitor the presence and activities of vessels in the area. We are in contact with the industry and the French administration to encourage meaningful dialogue and prevent further incidents from occurring, the spokesman added. Well, that's pretty woolly. Why should we spend millions on aircraft carriers and not use them? If the UK government's priority is the safety of the UK fleet, then send in the Royal Navy to escort them safely in going about their business. This is a major reason why Scotland needs the Royal Navy to protect our fishing and oil interests. This is one of many good reasons why Scotland must be part of the United Kingdom and out of the European Union. When one side is throwing rocks and smoke bombs at the other, the time for meaningful dialogue has passed. It should be made clear to the French that when we take back our fishing grounds after Brexit, they will have to deal with us in a proper business-like manner, or they will not have access that they would like to our fishing grounds. May's Tories are utterly gutless, and the reason why this is happening is because they are too weak with Barney and his cronies in the European Union. 